Your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 163 centimeters tall, weighing at 51.3 kilograms. He's 23 years old, fighting out of India with a record of two wins, no losses. Give it up for Sonny Katri. His opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, he stands 163 centimeters tall, weighed in at 51.9 kilograms. He's 22 years old, fighting out of Bahrain with a record of 0 and 0. Give it up for Muhammad Ati. It is Sunny Country in the all black and in the black and red, Muhammad Ati. That was a nice little feeling out period, but Muhammad Atif stalking his opponent already. No, he definitely has the crowd behind him. You got to believe a lot of pressure on the back of Muhammad Atif to start off this event with a bang and to represent KHK MMA. Atif looks very relaxed, opening up with the switch kick. Again, he's just cool, calm, and he's having fun in there. You talk about the speed, but you got to also talk about the power. As you can see, looking on Sheikh Khalid, his creation, the Brave Combat Federation. Still pushing the pace, though, holding on to the center of the cage, Mohamed Atif. Nice body shot right there by Atif. So how'd you like that opening ceremony, Shorty? Pretty amazing stuff here to kick things off. Hats off to our production team and everybody that made this happen because insane, just absolutely insane. I'm jealous. I want to walk out. <laughs> no doubt about it. I haven't really seen a whole lot of exchanges yet. Both fighters taking their time in round number one, trying to establish the range, trying to find the timing. The could he have him up against the fence? And here we go, big left. Sonny shakes his head like it didn't hurt, but it landed. Three five-minute rounds in this one in the straw weight division. Not a whole lot of places you can go to find these straw weight fights, you know, but everybody here at Brave wants to give even the smallest competitors a place to fight here under the Brave banner. Atif, he's the most experienced veteran out of the two. Again, what? he's throwing his counters. He seems so relaxed. And Sonny, he's on his bike, moving around, but he's trying to pick his shots wisely. Time ticking away here in round number one. Giving the fans a little thumbs up. Kotri doing a great job of moving around, sneaking in those low kicks, just trying to establish some points here in round number one. And here we go. Atif pushing the pace, but you know what? Sonny Kotri doing what he needs to do. Staying moving. He's not going to stay in one place up against the cage and just let Muhammad Atif just start teeing off. Yeah, Atif's opening up a little bit. He's being a little more aggressive. He's pushing the pace right now. Decides to open up with the high kick, but Sonny seems pretty confident. After every single combination, he's smiling. Again, this is a fun battle. Tell you, India has turned into a great breeding ground for fighters. A lot of tough young fighters are coming from the India region as well. Is right here in Bahrain from KHK and, of course, out of the Middle East. But India really starting to become a, a, a good place to bring these fighters out of. MMA taking over the world, to say the least. Definitely. Oh, big left. He lands the left and goes to the body. A tip going right back to the body. Smart move by the debut fighter. And the good thing is Atif's changing his levels. He's not just head hunting, he's going high and low and keeping Sonny disgruntled. Really working that body shorty. You don't see that enough in MMA period, working the body and, and attacking the body. And we're seeing that right now out of uh, Muhammad Atif. Oh, playing with him a little bit. A little bit of a taunt. Who's he saying hello to? <laughs> Sonny Kotri, though, just, you know, not phased at all. He's hanging in there. But at some point, he's going to have to go on the attack, and he's going to have to try to score points. 
Yeah, you can show up all you want, but those those leg kicks are going to take a toll eventually. And that's you better believe you it. Don't want to take. Again, like you said with the body shots, I'd rather take a headshot any day. Body shots definitely take toll, and you can ruin a fight. Mama to Tiff, trying to establish that timing, trying to pick a spot. Big shot. Oh, big combination. Ducks out of the way and a tip back on the attack. Throws the big high kick. Now frustration setting in. Muhammad Atif. Here we go, our head official, Scott Manhart. Getting things started with round number two. Muhammad Atif and Sonny Khatri. Beautiful kick to the body by Khatri. Sneaking him in there. Now actually showing a little bit more desperation. Showing a little bit more initiative. And it looks like there may have been an unintentional low blow. They're going to go to neutral corners and... He's going to try to shake that one off. Getting boost from the crowd, but uh, until you go in there and you take one of those and you move them around a little bit, you don't quite understand, do you? I've seen people get hit in the groin and actually stop fighting because they just can't do it anymore. The pain is just too significant. And the fight resumes. Sonny Khatri comes right back out. By the way, uh, let me officially congratulate you on winning that title uh, under KHK. Fantastic showing and uh, still undefeated. You're doing pretty good work out there. Well, thanks, man. Oh, here we go. A nice right. Here comes the little hook. Putting in work. Sonny Cotry, can he survive the onslaught? And Atif's going high and low, landing nice body shots. Beautiful variation. Nice overhand right. Oh, he is dialed nice in, Nice jab. Shorty. Ooh. Really setting him up. Nice cross. Big shots. Sonny Country gets out of there quickly. Trying to separate and get off of the fence. Like we talked about, Sonny Country's going to have to stay mobile. He's going to have to show better counters. He's not willing to counter any of these punches. He's just taking them. It just seems like he might be a little outmatched for the tenacity that Atif's bringing. And again, Atif has a few fights under his belt. You know, Sonny so far only has two. He's still growing, but this is a learning experience. You either you win or you or you learn. Beautiful body kick by Mohamed Atif. One after another. They're adding up, Shorty. They are adding up. And Sonny now is just playing defensive. He's taking his shots and trying to circle away. What he How needs bad to do? does Sonny Cotri want it? That's the question. Is he willing to be in this fight and really fight it out? What Sonny needs to do, he needs to start throwing more combinations to get Atif on his heels and a little more pressured into going in. Oh, and here he comes once again, the little hawk. He wants to get the finish. You know he does. You know he wants to not only impress the crowd here, but the shake sitting up there in his seat. He would love to do him proud for the KHK MMA banner. Nice leg kick. Really, really changing levels. Going to the body, going to the head. Yeah, it's a beautiful body shot again. I'll tell you, one of his biggest role models is Frankie Edgar, and you can tell in his style, he's moving just like him, moving back and forth, and going high and low, and just pushing the pace. Frankie Edgar, of course, has made the trip to Bahrain. And from what I could tell, from what I've heard, he absolutely loved it, had a great time out here. And Beautiful push kick. Kicks might not hurt now, but they're going to hurt in the morning. 
slowing down once again. Mohamed Atif. Oh, and here we go with the takedown attempt, and it's thwarted. Sonny Kotri, no dice on that one. Good takedown defense, and Sonny's now starting to shoot. That shows he doesn't want to take any more shots. He knows he's losing the stand-up game, and he wants to take it to the ground to see what happens there. Hashtag Brave MMA and hashtag I am Brave if you're following along at home, watching on BraveFights.com. We talked about all the fighters on the card that are representing KHK. It's not just a tiff. Of course, Eldar Eldorov is on the card. Franz Malambo is on the card. And the one that everybody's really waiting on is Hamza Koyesh. Everybody wants to see that fight. Hamza Koyesh, Bahrain's own. He's going to come forward in his fight, and I'm excited to see that as well. That's all mohammed has been doing is just moving forward, moving forward, high, low, high, low. So far, he's easily winning this fight. And we come to the final seconds of round number two. Still dominating is the Little Hawk. Sonny Khatri not willing to engage, not willing to take charge. And now at this point, he has his game right behind the eight ball, as you see the shake. Watching on, what a great way to start Brave if he can see one of his KHK guys. As we saw, he did try to do a takedown, and that's because he's desperate. He's losing the stand-up battle. He wants to take him down to the ground to see what happens there. But right now, he's losing two rounds and, you know, nothing. So what he has to do is he has to either knock him out or tap him out. And so we'll see what happens. Well, such a big opportunity. You made a reference to that in our opening remarks, how big of an opportunity it is for these international fighters. Uh, to really make an impression on a really big stage. And uh, right now, Sonny Kotri is going to have to show the matchmakers here and show everybody at Brave that he wants to be a part of this show. He's going to have to fight. He's going to have to push it. It definitely is. And this stage is so much bigger than what anyone expected it to be, mainly for your first show. It's an amazing opportunity for all these guys, so much promotion, and it's just going to get bigger and grow from here. Oh, man, it blew me away when I came in and I saw this arena, the Khalifa Sports City, and what they had done with the ramp. And the, ah, it's amazing. I just it wanna really walk out. Is. I just wanna walk out really bad. Do. I know you do. Take a look at that replay. It was just one after another by the Little Hawk, changing levels, going to the body, and battling out. Now it is third round action. Right back to it. Five minutes left in this one. Can Mohammed Atif put a stamp on this one and finish his opponent? Not worried at all, keeping his hands low. Not worried about the power, not worried about the striking of Kotri. And you can't blame him because Kotri's just not showing us anything. Yeah, again, he's on his heels. Even if he throws a punch, it's not going to have any power into it. Uh, Tiff so far is just moving forward, very comfortable. And he's getting a little cocky, and I wish he'd keep his hands up. But he's throwing, so that's all that matters right now. Right back at it is the Little Hawk, another big combination. Sonny Beautiful Kotri right. has no answer. Nice leg kick. You know, when you look at the explosiveness of a tip, he seems like a guy that could get the finish, like he has that skill set, he can make that happen. It's just all putting it together. This is his first professional fight. I mean, I'm sure you can remember, it wasn't too long ago that you had your first pro fight. Some of the butterflies going into, some of the nervousness, I mean, it has to be insane. I can tell you, I was more anxious than I've ever been in my entire life. You know, I have a 25 and one amateur record, but you only have your pro debut once, and there's never making that up. It's a huge learning experience for everyone. Muhammad Atif's definitely gonna look back at the film. If he doesn't finish this fighter and go, I could have done this, I could have done that, but again, we all learn through the process. Atif pushing the pace. Keeping the fans happy here in Bahrain. Oh, looking for a big high kick. You know, Sonny's tough, man. He's trying his best. He's trying his best to move forward, but Atif is just too aggressive for him. Doesn't quite have the speed. I, I think that's the big difference, the explosiveness and the speed from Atif. Even when he throws his strike, Sonny Khatri just doesn't seem to have speed behind it. And mainly at these small weight classes, you need the speed to keep up with these guys. 
And again, it's a learning experience. They'll learn through it. But Sonny's moving away. Again, he's just trying to run right now, just trying to survive and finish the round. Doesn't look like he wants to knock out Atif. He's trying with his counters, but his counters seem like he just wants to get Atif away. Push instead of actually to the knocking body, him out. Frustrating the little hawk. And right back to it here. A momentary stop by a referee. Comes making sure. in with a flying knee. He's having too much fun in there. Mohamed Atif just toying with Sonny Khatri. He wants to put him away momentarily. Looked like he was going to go for a takedown, and he wants a fight. He wants to trade. He wants somebody to trade with, and Sonny Khatri's not going to be the guy. And he ran into a beautiful body knee, and so far, I mean, he seems comfortable. He seems like he can take all of Sonny's shots. Laughing it off. Big smile on the face of Mohamed Atif. Great way to open up your pro career by putting together a win like we're potentially going to see here. But at some point, he's going to have to take it a little bit more seriously, keep his hands up, not do quite all the taunting, because you'll run into somebody that can answer with it. Yeah, and I've seen fights. Again, MMA is such an amazing sport because you never know what happens. You can be winning all three or five rounds and get knocked out the last second. The guy could just close his eyes and throw the punch, and you ran into it. You got it. A Hail Mary, if you will. And there he goes, walking him down again is the Little Hawk opening up our strawweight division here at Brave Combat Federation. This is a historical matchup. This is the one everybody's going to remember, the first ever matchup at Brave Combat Federation, this strawweight battle. Muhammad Atif, he could be the first ever winner in Brave history. Again, Muhammad Atif's winning this fight very easily. But here's the problem, he's getting too confident. He's getting not confident enough, now he's just cocky. And it's ruining the fight for himself. Or he could possibly finish this guy if he actually pushed the pace through more combinations. Oh, if he closed the distance right now, I, I completely agree. If he wants to finish, he could potentially have it. But he, he seems to be willing just to toy, and there we go. Great takedown defense by Sonny Cotri. He's shown that he's a very durable fighter. He does have the good takedown defense, but if you're not willing to throw, it's going to be hard to win a fight. Big right hand. Muhammad Atif looking for a takedown. Can he get it? No. Thwarted takedown. Sonny Contra comes out on top on that one, and that is the end of the fight. Right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two warriors. So talk about this fight a little bit. Shorty, I mean, it, what it was, it, it just came down. To Muhammad Atif wanted it more. He pushed the pace. He tried to finish the fight. You got to give him all the credit in the world. He wanted to put on a show for the fans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to start the night. And we have a unanimous decision. Your winner.